What's going on guys, it is Wiles trying to see here, welcome back to another FIFA 18 career mode video and today I've got something that you guys actually requested in the comments. You want to know how do you make career mode more fun and that's what I'm going to be bringing to you today guys. This is all from within a save so you don't have to necessarily go back and be like oh god i got to do this from the beginning. This is all within a save. So if you are a couple of seasons in, that is the consideration of it. But anyway, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I got a video coming up very soon with this bad boy. This is FIFA 07 on the PSP. Absolute brilliant. I have absolutely loved this. Honestly, absolutely love this thing. I'm playing it right now. I got Barcelona versus Spurs, and it's great. Found it, and I thought, let's play it. We got a video coming up very soon for you guys. But anyway, let's get to my first tip. Woo! Okay, this is one of the more basic ones. Guys, consider switching up your teams within a save. A lot of FIFA players will actually start a career mode, stick with that team for four seasons, and then not switch teams. Switch teams throughout. Give it a go. Go to Barcelona. Go to another team. I have had a say. Most of my saves, I tend to switch throughout. So I tend to do a road to glory, and I get them to glory, and then I go on to a new challenge. That's what I like to do. Like, for example, I've done a cream I started off with Oldham before, and then I went to Spurs, and then I went to Barcelona, and then a job came up back in the championship. I was like, let's go back, let's go back. And we went back today, and I worked back up again. And I really enjoy doing it that way, because you have to work with a... Uh, the further you go on in those Cremo saves, you're like, oh, I don't know every single player. And you have to do a lot more research. You have to be a bit more technical with your signings. But anyway, give that a go. Switch some teams. That's an easy one. Woo! Okay, coming into my second one, this is create some challenges for yourself. So, of course, at the start of every season, you have some objectives, right? You can meet those objectives myself. I don't tend to go for them, but if I want a bit of fun, I create myself a challenge. And that could be something simple of trying to meet um, tar uh, manager objectives for the season. Or even create my own little challenges. So, why don't you think, you know what? We're in season seven now. Let's create some challenges. What can I do? What can you do for yourself to make it more fun? And I quite enjoy that. Win games by five goals or, or more. Simple stuff like that. Create yourself some challenges within your saves. That will help greatly. And I'll give you some fun as well. Because you'll be like, yes, I met it. Um, but no, honestly, guys, give it a go. Create some challenges. Woo! Okay, now moving on to another one, which is what I've really enjoyed, but you need to work on this kind of from when you start your save. And I'm assuming, as a lot of career modes, you will already be working on this, but you don't have to. This is a youth squad career mode. And I, for example, last year, I went out a team with Blackman Rovers, and I did five seasons with them. And after that fifth season, I was like, hmm... I want to change this up, and I changed it to a youth career mode. What I actually was doing for the last two seasons prior to it was building this career, uh, this youth squad, so I had a full youth squad going on. Honestly, give it a go. Youth squad career modes are really, really fun, especially when you do get those five, five seasons, six seasons in. Definitely worth a bit of uh, worth a go because it is really fun. Honestly, do not knock it until you try it. Give yourself a youth squad. But anyway, guys, they were my free tips, right? They were very simple, and I think you know what, guys. Honestly, some simple stuff will help you make career mode more exciting. It is about creating that fun element. It is about creating those challenges. What can you do? Switching up teams throughout your save, and also consider doing a youth squad. But I do have one little tip for you, which for me. I don't know if people will like, but for me, I've absolutely loved it. This, you have to do this at the start of a career mode, unfortunately. Add a virtual pro. I love it when I have my virtual pro in a game. I just find it a bit more exciting. I just love wanting to try and score with him. It, it makes me the want to try and win games and score with that particular player. So that's why I always think, you know what? Let's chuck my virtual pro in it. So if you consider doing that at the start, that's a big one as well. Guys, let me know in the comments section below. Do you have any tips for players who are finding career mode boring? For me, create some challenges. Switch up your teams throughout your saves. And of course, create yourself a youth squad. They would be my tips to make career mode more fun for you guys. But anyway, guys, my name is Wild Strand DSG. Of course, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you do not miss a single video. And of course, make sure you have a very Merry Christmas. And I'll see you next time with a brand new series, which is actually on the 22nd. But anyway, guys, guess what? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Now the girls across the nation, I'll eat this up. Babe, I know that it's your song, but could you better